Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning into Midgard Musings today and watching today's video. My name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel, as you may or may not already know. If this is your first time, I appreciate your support. For everybody else who's already supported Midgard Musings through your views, comments, likes, and subscriptions, thank you very much. I want to call to attention the fact that I am actively and aggressively seeking 2,000 subscribers by or before January 1st, 2020. All right, that means that we need to get at least three new subscribers every day until then, and your help is greatly appreciated. I couldn't do this, well, I could do this if it wasn't for each and every one of you, but it wouldn't be nearly as fun because I would just be talking to nobody. All right, so everybody's participation and involvement on this channel is greatly appreciated. I invite you to please write down here, see it, right down there, please click that subscribe button you don't want to miss any videos here on this channel be sure to click the bell notifications because then you will get notified every time that I upload new content all right guys I appreciate everybody's uh, everybody's support and I look forward to learning new things with each and every one of you about Norse heathenry Germanic paganism all that kind of fun stuff so please become a subscriber today that button is right down here it costs you literally nothing to become a subscriber and then if you want to be notified just click the bell for notifications it's all right if you don't but it is appreciated if you do check the description down below for all the other ways that you can support Midgard Musings through Facebook Patreon Teespring Redbubble uh, anything else that you see down there click on the links follow them see if it's something that fits you I appreciate all your support let's jump in to today's video hail and thank you all Alright everybody, hail and welcome to this week's episode of Midgard Musings. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Uh, as you heard about in the intro, uh, the pursuit of 2,000 subscribers is going on hot and heavy, and I just wanted to let everybody know as of today's video, the channel is sitting at uh, 1,889 subscribers, so we just need 111 more to go before we get to that 2,000 subscriber milestone. So please. Share the videos, comment down below, all that kind of stuff, get more interaction. The more interaction that you give to the videos, the more the uh, YouTube algorithm kind of notices and says, ah, eh, this stuff needs to get kicked out to some more people. So all of that support is greatly appreciated. So while I get smoked out here by my incense, happens a lot here on the channel, as you notice, so I gotta finagle it. But uh, today's video is gonna be a continuation of kind of last week's video about the Norns. I know we talked a bit last week uh, and, and, and you know discussed the, the mythology behind the Norns and their involvement and you know the metaphysical aspects of heathenry and today's video is going to be on things that are kind of in the realm of the Norns and that is things of weird or log. <clears throat> okay these terms are sometimes used to kind of mean the same thing as fate um, although fate in the Germanic pagan approach or Germanic pagan uh, view varies and differs slightly than what you might see from other pagan, uh, you know, namely, namely like the Greek pantheons, like the, the, the Roman pantheons, Roman pagans, Greek pagans. Their concept of, of fate being very implacable uh, to what I understand, uh, it's a little bit different. There are some things in Germanic paganism that, that fate is set. Um, We'll get into that a little bit, but today's topic of discussion is going to be on Weird and Orlog and the things that exist um, and how they kind of, how, how we as, as Norse heathens or Germanic pagans uh, see these things. So Weird, <clears throat> and you'll see it pop up here on the screen, um, it looks like Wired <laughs> or Word almost, but it's pronounced Weird, and it encompasses a sum or the sum total, if you will, of individual actions. Um, and choices, um, and as, as well as kind of whatever fate or destiny, if you will, has been predetermined by the Norns um, for that individual. And it also in, uh, involves uh, the actions and the deeds and, and, and choices of more than just the individual. There's a lot of things that get added um, that, what, that make up weird, okay? So in many ways, weird uh, can be and might be likened to fate, which as I said before, uh, 
in many cultures and in many views is very implacable. There's nothing that you can do to change it. It's ultimate and there's nothing that you can do to alter your fate. Um, but weird is far more interactive. Um, it's casualty and consequence, essentially. Um, it's the sum of every action of a person that has ever uh, taken interacting with them. So the, not just our deeds, but the deeds and the actions and the choices of the people who we interact with. Um, it, go, it goes back to our ancestors, their deeds, their choices, their decisions, um, the communities that they interacted with, our communities now at large. You know, so everything, everyone that we interact with uh, adds to this thing called weird, this web, this well, ultimately. Um, <clears throat> now, as I said before, with the concept of fate being implacable, we can't change it, we can't alter it. There are certain things about our fates individually that are unchangeable. Obviously, we could never change the day that we were born. We can never change who we were born to uh, or from or through our, our lineage, our ancestry, our heritage. Um, the day that we die, these are things that we could never change. Those are implacable. Uh, they have nothing that we can do what would ever alter that from happening when it's supposed to happen. Um, but we can do things throughout our lives uh, and, and the choices that we make and the decisions we make can alter our lives. Our, our lives are not set. It's not that we are set to achieve or accomplish certain things. It's, it's, it's much more than that, right? Like there are, there are things that are set for us, but we have the ability, if we, if we so choose, to kind of change the weird of our, of our lives and change the weird of the lives around us through certain actions. So weird is like a web of choices, all right? It's constantly in shifts and changes. It's very, if you think about a web, like a spider web or something, how it moves and how it changes, the, the threads are always, you know, if there's damage to one, uh, you know, it has to be repaired and strengthened and then it may, the, the shape of things may alter depending on its environment. So, um, our own choices, the choices of others around us, the choices of our communities, and even, you know, like I said, the choices of our ancestors uh, impact everything that's in weird. Everything that happens uh, is impacted through the people that are around us, okay? And that's where we get into what's called Orlog which you will also see up here, right here, that word, Orlog. Orlog is much like weird. Um, <clears throat> it's a fundamental concept in our practices as Norse pagans, um, and it's something that kind of refers to as a like, primal layer uh, within weird, um, due to the fact that it's uh, you know, brought up in the lore, uh, that the Norns are responsible for, for, for making that primal layer, and the Rudab rumor that, 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 that well, that's, Kind of catches the dew that drops from the leaves of Yggdrasil. These these dew drops are all the actions and, and deeds and things that, that go into the well and then kind of lay down that primal layer. Um, but it's that, or it could also be looked as like a series of strands uh, that determine fate. And Orlog is how it differs from Weird. Okay, um, is in that it's our moral momentum. Okay, it's. It's that it's that part of weird that can that, that can and can't be altered, right? So the orlog that we get, the things that are that, that we've inherited, the orlog that we've received from the past decisions of our and the past actions of our ancestors, um, that is set. Um, we can't alter or change things from the past. We kind of get the cards that were dealt, um, but our decisions we have absolute control over now in the present. And that which we do now will become the orlog for our descendants to inherit. So it, it is constantly changing. It's not that just because, you know, the we we got the orlog from our ancestors and they maybe did some bad things that added bad to the well or added bad uh, juju or bad threads um, that we are now destined and fated to be a failure or that we're destined to have bad things happen to us. It's that's what we've got, but we can alter and change it when we get it to add good to then kind of re-thread things and, and, and alter the state of, of that. It's not that we can get rid of the past wrongs. They, they're, that is implacable. We can't change that. Um, they're there regardless. Um, 
and we don't we can't do anything that can atone for the past sins or the past you know wrongdoings or whatever you want to call them or look at them nothing we can do that can change the past however enough of the right action that we do now and enough of the good and 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 things that we can do now will sort of equal out the balance right so look at it as if you were to get a glass um, of of liquid and you pour you know oil in the bottom of this of this glass okay and you now start to add water to this glass obviously the glass can only hold so much but let's say it was a bottom you know let's say there was a, an infinite level of this the oil that sets to the bottom the darkness the, the grime the grunge and stuff at the bottom the more of the clear the more of the water that gets added to it will eventually dilute the liquid to the point where there is more good than bad and it will equal it out and it will balance it out and it will bring more of the good out into that well than there was the oil or, or the bad or the grunge or the grime so like i said part of oralog is inherited um <clears throat> it's definitely believed to have been passed down to us through our ancestors um, in this line of belief. Um, the majority of the those type of actions, the majority of that orlog we would get from our immediate descent, our immediate ancestors, our parents, those that may still be alive even. Um, but then of course we would get some from their parents and their parents' parents and then so on and so forth on down the line. The further along it goes, perhaps the, the weaker it gets, and it depends on the strength of the deeds and, and the, 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 the weight of the actions and the, and the decisions and the choices that were made from that line and from that time, how much it carries on through to us now and today. You know, so, you know, look at it almost like, you know, if, if the, the two Wright brothers, you know, uh, had made the decision to, to not you know, invent the airplane or, or, or do what they did to, to invent the airplane, we would not be flying today uh, the way we do. Air travel would not be existent potentially, you know, or at least not in the way that it is now. Um, so their decision that the ore log that they added into their well has so much weight that it continues on and it carries on down through and their legacy and that, that, that ore log is very strong, you know. Um, if I were to change the color of my hair today, you know, yes, that would impact me uh, and maybe some people around me, depending on what color I changed it to. Um, you know, immediately, that would be an immediate change. But overall, in the next 20, 40, 50 years, uh, nobody's going to care or remember the action that I took to change the color of my hair. That, that, that kind of action, that kind of thing that gets added to my weird, that, that is not very heavy ore lug that gets carried on down through the line. So. Um, the, 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 you know, the, the familial stuff, the, the things that we get from our immediate family and, and their families, um, you know, uh, that's very, very close, you know, so like I've inherited Orlog from my mom and dad and from their mom and dad and from their, you know, back and, back and forward and forth, so same way with, with everybody else. Um, in a way, a part of our Orlog is uh, definitely not up to us, it's not up to our making, it's already been made and it is given to us but we're still responsible for the actions that we take in responding to them. So if I got, you know, some bad Orlog that I inherited, um, I could either sit back and not take any action to correct anything or make it better um, and just kind of live with it and say, well, this is just life, this is what I was fated to do. Or I could take a proactive approach and I could say, no, I'm going to change things now in my life and make things better for me. Okay. so. Going kind of to summarize it all, weird is like the general web, you know, that's laid out uh, that represents our fate, the possibilities, the, 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 the chances that could happen, and Orlog would kind of be those threads that make up this general web, the, the layers of the threads, you know, making the whole web possible, if you will. Everything's interconnected in a way, um, making both the Orlog and weird essential to one another, you know, you can't have one without the other. Um, <clears throat> it is the past actions, the Orlog, that is brought forward to shape the present. It's, it's the, the, the things that come from Urd, which we talked about in last week's video, that, that come and form into now Verdandi. That uh, then Verdandi, which will help shape the school. So, 
Like I said earlier, you know, not all actions carry the same equal level of weight. Stronger and more powerful actions and decisions will have a greater impact overall in, in Orlog and in, in, in the overall weird of the community or in the family. Okay? Um, but again, it's, you know, the difference is, you know, like I said, just as an example, me changing my hair color isn't going to have any impact, or the same kind of impact as, you know, me moving to a different state or starting a new life somewhere else. Um, we, we, those types of things, those life-changing things, those decisions will, will carry on. You know, if I never moved to Tennessee from New York, my life would be very different. Um, but I made that decision and now my life is thus. You know, so those types of things are, are what shape and, and what add weight into, into Orlog and that my descendants will then inherit. And so we should try to, as best we can, to make sure that we are uh, giving good things. We are, we are doing good things, things that are going to not only help us in our lives currently, but that will help set up our descendants you know, and it goes beyond just our descendants because we have people who here uh, who may not ever have children and may not ever pass on their familial line to uh, a child, um, but who yet still interact. You have people who interact with your tribal communities, your pagan and heathen communities. Your interactions, our interactions with one another is all about tying weird together. Our, our lives are being woven together. Uh, with each other and it's important that we understand that the impact that I have, the impact that you have, the impact that she has um, in our individual lives together as the tribe and as the community will ultimately affect and impact the luck of the tribe, the, the, the fortune of the tribe, the fate, if you will, of the tribe as a whole. So I hope this video has been a bit informative for anybody that's watching, uh, asking about kind of the complexities of Weird and Orlog. This is a very short surface scratching concept video to kind of give you the idea of what it's all about. Um, there's a lot of information and I, sh I encourage you to check all the information out that you can about Weird and Orlog and, and Fate as it were um, in, your pe pe own pe <laughs> in your own pagan practices. The pe 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 porky pig here. So anyways. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it around. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'm anxious to hear from every one of you uh, on your thoughts about this. So thank you all again for watching today. Be sure to share the video. Subscribe as we get closer to 2,000 subs. Everyone that's watching live on Facebook, stick around so I can hopefully read your comments. Hail, and I'll see you all in next week's video.